Hi, I'm Mike from Hackaday. We're at the Supercon, and I was able to catch up with Alex Williams, who last night was revealed as the grand prize winner of the 2017 Hackaday Prize. The grand prize winner of the 2017 Hackaday Prize is Open Source Underwater Glider by Alex Williams. Congratulations. Unlike the others, I wasn't actually told to prepare or anything, so, <laughs> great. So, wow. Um, when I started this, like, eight months ago, nine, when I was aware the Hackaday Prize was going to start, it was just a small thing, as like a small hobby thing in spare time. I'm shaking. Um, <laughs> uh, and then won some money from the first round, and that really helped, because I could do stuff that I couldn't previously. Uh, I got underwater. What? It's getting <laughs> to me. <laughs> uh, underwater tubing, and that really helped with everything. So, seed funding helped. And then, as time progressed, I did more and pushed the hardware further. And it's now at the stage where I want it to be possible for anyone to replicate it. So, I thank everyone at Supply Frame Hackaday and the entire community. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us today, Alex. Thank you. Congratulations. How do you feel? Uh, still in shock, <laughs> uh, to, to a great extent. Yeah, it's still getting to grips with it. So the project that you won the Hackaday Prize with is the Open Source Underwater Glider. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, so it's a long-range autonomous underwater vehicle designed for going long distances on low power. Um, so typical ROVs are very uh, active propulsion, so use lots of energy very precise but small areas so for long range stuff there's a few commercial things but they're very expensive so I'm looking to do a hardware platform for the low end uh, projects which can go long distances. Oh that's awesome so have you built um, like ROVs before? Or no. This, this is was, your first yeah. underwater project? <laughs> yeah. How was the learning curve on that? Uh, steep. Um, so the first generation I tried, print it, uh, tried printing O-ring seals realized just how tricky the whole thing is. Um, so I quickly transitioned to using uh, semi-pro um, enclosures, which are rated to a depth of 100 meters, and that helped. So it's things like that which I learned a lot. I uh, learned a lot. So What are those enclosures usually used for? Uh, they're used for the small ROV platforms. Okay. So they're produced by Blue Robotics, who make the uh, Blue ROV. Um, so... That's a semi-pro uh, platform used for underwater uh, observation. So I really loved the mechanical design of this. So you're actually, you know, a big part of it being a glider and, and being able to orient itself is being able to shift ballast around. Yeah. And you made some interesting um, choices on what ballast and how to move it. Can you discuss that a bit? Yeah. Um, at the front of the glider, there's six medical syringes uh, with a step motor which moves the plungers forward and back. Um, through an Acme thread. Um, so when the, the step motor pulls the plungers back, uh, the glider draws in water, which increases the mass, so it becomes more dense than the surrounding water, so it descends, and the hydrofoils make that go forwards. Um, and then to go back up, the uh, plungers are pushed out, and it pushes out the watering, goes up. So yeah, it's just using the syringes as a buoyancy engine to change the density of the glider. And that I loved being able to see the testing of this and seeing it in the water. How, how did you go about finding a place that you could do that? Um, well, <laughs> it's quite interesting. Uh, about five months down the line, I realized, okay, this is probably the stage where I can go into water. Um, I then realized that I didn't have any water to take it into. So it's just asking around as many people as I could. So my first proper test was uh, a friend's parents were going, uh, rent, uh, having a holiday home. So they said they had a uh, pool there. So I drove for three hours, tested the glider there for a couple of hours, then drove back. So yeah, testing has been limited. So, you know, this is, uh, it's amazing to look at this project, but I, I don't actually know that much about you. So when you were developing the open source underwater glider, what else was going on in your life? What do you do when you're not winning the Hackaday Prize? Um, so I was uh, doing A-levels in the UK. So okay. it was just alongside my studies. So it was very much, uh, the studies and the glider and then some sports on the side. So it was, yeah, very full time. Okay, and you, you moved past those A-levels now? What about, what's the next step? Uh, well, until recently, I was at 
Cambridge University in the UK doing engineering. Um, but I found that was very theoretical, mm. so that wasn't personally for me, so I dropped out. Um, so I'm going to reapply somewhere else next year and for a slightly more hands-on course, because I love doing the hands-on with the <laughs> Hack Day Prize, that's clear. Um, so for this next year, I'm gap year. So yeah, I'm, given the response to the uh, Glide, I will be developing it further and seeing where that goes. So like someone like me, I really enjoy doing embedded stuff. And then I look at the fabrication work that you've done and I'm like, that's incredible. Do you have like, do, do you have a guru or a, a mentor that's helped you with that? How did you learn to do that? Uh, lots of experience with it, I guess. Um, <laughs> so self-taught. So uh, when I was younger, um, school provided a solid works license. Oh, I yeah. use that and it's just messing around with it a lot of my spare time. So at a young age, it was Lego. Then it transitioned to stop frame motion, uh, stop frame animations. Then it was uh, uh, using Blender, uh, mm -hmm. the open source uh, design software for animations. That transitioned to modeling for 3D printing. Um, and then I realized that Blender isn't particularly good for mechanical designs. So yeah. that took me onto SolidWorks. And now I use Onshape, which is a open, uh, no, I, uh, free uh, cloud CAD package. So sure. anyone can use it and it's really good. Oh, I um, love that path. That's a great, that's a great uh, yeah. stepping stones to progress, yeah. right? Yeah. It's being, so I'm just curious as to where it takes me next, really. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think everybody is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so one of the biggest parts of the success was just telling the story of your project. So you have done a great job of documenting and, and explaining along the way. I think... Um, with me, one of the biggest problems I have is getting too far ahead of myself without actually writing it down. Did you experience that at all? Yeah, definitely. Uh, so there are three main versions with the glider. Uh, the first version, as I said earlier, was not watertight. It, was, it ended up being just, it looks good, mm -hmm. and the internal components can work. Electronics are on a breadboard outside. It was partially uh, documented, but not fully reproducible, and it wasn't functional. Um, the second version of the glider, was even less documented, and it was just taking the internals of the first version, putting them in the second version. Uh, that worked underwater, and it was uh, a proof of concept. Mm -hmm. So then I took everything that I'd learned so far, redesigned, this is the point where I switched from SolidWorks to OneShape, just uh, to make it available to everyone. Mm -hmm. And I knew for this version, I would completely design it from the ground up and make the entire thing about as open and reproducible as possible. So first two versions, not reproducible, then I, try, I knew it was getting, I was getting ahead of it, so I uh, did it so it's fully documented. So. Well, I gotta say, it's an amazing project to look at. I think you have a wonderful story, and I can't, see, I can't wait to see um, where this goes next for you. Um, but for now, I think you should just revel in, <laughs> in um, you know, great news for a wonderful effort on a project. Um, thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank you.